If you guys are looking for the fastest, safest, cheapest coins on the internet, go to my sponsor, use code DOG for a 15% discount on checkout. What's good YouTube, how y'all doing man? Welcome back to another video, man. Today we're gonna be getting into a basic sniping guide. Now we're gonna be going over how to snipe, what is sniping, how to identify prices, and how to identify snipes. Now, if you guys are looking for more of an advanced tutorial or advanced ways to snipe, just tune in, subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be a lot of advanced ways to snipe on this channel, whether it's videos, tutorials, tips, all types of things. So if you guys are interested in that content, don't forget to subscribe. Sniping is, I just wanna make it very simple because it's a very basic guide, beginner friendly. Sniping is just flipping cards, buying cards when they're cheaper, and selling them when they're more expensive. It's literally that simple. So if anybody says, hey, you should snipe, that's all it is. They're basically saying, just trying to find cars for a cheap price and sell them for either at the cost price or a little bit above cost price so you can make profit in between there. One thing that you have to know when you're sniping is that each time you sell a card on the auction block, EA is gonna take a 10% tax on it. So if a card is worth 10K, they're gonna take 10% of the total sale price which means that they're going to take a thousand coins out before you get your coins back. So if you guys get a card for, let's just say 9,000 and you were thinking, okay, if I put it up for 10 K, I'm going to make a thousand coins. You have to put it up above 11 K to make a thousand coins. So you do want to remember that when you guys are sniping, it is a 10% tax on every single card you sell on the auction block. When you buy a card, there's no tax to it. But when you sell one, there's a 10% tax. Now we have to go into how to snipe. It's very simple, like I said before, it's just buying cards on the auction block. And if you guys don't know what the auction block is, it's just in the auctions and trades, and it's just an auction house. Uh, some people say auction block, some people say auction house, whatever it is, I say auction block because that's what I'm used to. But buying cards is just like this. So you will go to a filter, any filter. We're gonna Today we're gonna go into the 8381s. It's very beginner friendly, so we're gonna go with the 8381s. Now, when you guys are looking at prices, when you're looking for a filter to snipe in, if you want to see the newest cards, you have to go to this, you have to press R2 and then go down to newest, you know what I'm saying? And then when it shows newest, you're looking for this first card, this Alva Camara, you're looking at the top, at the bottom left corner and seeing if it says 59 minutes. If it says 59 minutes, that means there's a newest card in this filter. Looking at this filter right now, this isn't the newest card in the filter, so we have to go deeper into the filter until we find when we can see the newest cards. So let's just say I'm going to go to right in i'm just going to write in 80 through 81s and i'm going to see 58 so even this filter is still full because i'm seeing 58 but i'm gonna go down and i'm gonna go to a d tackle let's go to d tackle and see what it, see if we can do even this one is saying 58 so we're gonna keep we just trying to find filters that say 59 cars could be put up for an hour eight hours 12 hours 24 hours so you're looking for a seven hour 11 hours 23 hours and one hour that's basically what you're looking for right so let's go to a different filter just to showcase that you know we're trying to find filters that are newest so like this is a new filter so there's multiple ways you could look at cars the main way is buy now and newest so if i look at buy now i'm seeing the cheapest price in this filter if i look at newest i'm seeing the newest cars in this filter so there's multiple ways you can snipe a filter it just it's all up to your preference most people snipe buy nows if they don't know the price and they're just looking for the cheapest card in the filter and they're trying to make coins at that point most people snipe newest when they know the prices and they're going through a filter and they know exactly what each car goes for you can snipe newest because you can see the newest cards so now you guys know what sniping is and you know how to do it you have to figure out a price range so you have to figure out what works for you and what makes sense in the price range so i'm going to go through how to identify a price right so let's just go ahead and check denzel Ward so we can identify his price now you could do this with filters you could do this with multiple cards you could do this with whatever this is how you identify a price so identifying a price is going to the buy now and i'm going to show you how i would identify a price so i'm looking at this card and i'm seeing denzel ward is at 4200 coins i'm going to refresh this filter by the way i forgot to go over the refresh so anytime you're in a filter if you click into like some type of filter at all like say i hit programs and then I just press L3 to reset that filter, it's gonna reset the filter. But if I press L3 right now, it's gonna clear my entire filter. I don't wanna do that. So you wanna go into like programs, cap values, chemistries, whatever, and reset it. Press L3 to reset the filter, right? But now let's go into the prices. So I'm looking at this Denzel Ward. 
and virtually yes his price would be 4200 coins because that is the cheapest card on the auction block at this point of right now doesn't mean you will have to sell him for that that's just his price for as of right now so if i'm looking at this card i'm saying his cheapest card on the auction block is 4200 coins so at this is this is the price that i'm going to go with if i'm looking to buy him or flip him but let's just say i moved on to another car let's find another cornerback that we can move on to so i could explain it a little bit different let's go to kyle fuller right his price is not three thousand coins right his price is closer towards four thousand coins because we're seeing a 3800 a 3900 a four thousand and then we're automatically just seeing a three thousand so when you see cars that are extremely out of the ordinary in a filter then you know that that's not his price technically that's a snipe realistic we'll go into this later but this will be a good card to snipe and put him up for a little bit more so you guys could do this with multiple different filters and just check prices and learn prices for each filter learn prices for cards so then you can get so it can get instilled into your head so you remember the prices and then you can move a lot faster through these filters so now i'm going to teach you guys how to identify a snipe and this is a perfect example of how to identify a snipe so what this is a snipe is basically finding a car for cheaper than what the cost is right so we see this cow fuller we see that he, we could sell him for more than three thousand coins now like i said each car is going to take taxes out of here so if we bought this if we were to buy this cow fuller at three thousand let's just say we want to sell him at four thousand because four thousand is a good price and we'll talk about that in a minute we'll sell him for four thousand coins we have to subtract 400 coins because of the 10 percent tax so we subtract 400 coins if we buy this cow fuller and we put him up for four thousand coins we will get back 3600 coins which means we'll make 600 coins in profit right so that is how you identify a snipe his price range will be anywhere between the first and the fifth card that's how i like to look at price ranges so in a sense with this kyle fuller his first card wouldn't be this 3000 because that's the card i want to snipe his first card would be 3800 and his fifth card would be 4800 so anywhere between that price range would be a decent price for him but i always sell cards in the first row and the first row means that this first five cards that you see whether you on buy now or you on newest mainly it's on buy now you want to sell the cards in the first five slots let's refresh see if anybody bought this so nobody's bought this cow fuller yet right he's been up for three minutes and no one's bought it but it's still a good value so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what you would do is just go ahead and buy him i'm gonna go ahead and buy him and i'm gonna put this card up I'm not going to put them up now. I'm not going to post them now, but I'm going to show you. Now that I bought that Kyle Fuller for 3,000 coins, if I was to put him up for 4,400 coins and let's say nobody else posted a card, he would be in the fourth slot. So that means he's still in a good slot to sell. So it would be 38, 39, 4,000. My 4,400 would go here and the 4,500 would go here. Good slot. That's how you identify a snipe. You take the first and the fifth card and you take the average of those prices in between and you say okay this is what i could sell the card for this may vary as you go on and you become a more experienced sniper you'll be able to find prices a lot different you know and it's different ways to find prices this is just a, a beginner way to find prices an easy way to get into sniping and find prices so like i said now people are going to ask me should i post my cards for an hour should i post my cards for eight hours 24 hours whatever i tend to post cards that i can sell in the first five slots within an hour if i know the cards are moving fast you will learn about cards moving fast and uh, selling frequencies as you become a more experienced sniper as your time goes on you'll be like okay this card is a card that sells fast so i know i could put him up an hour he'll sell within an hour this car is a car that sells a little bit slower so i have to put them up for 24 hours for him to sell sometimes they sell before the 24 hours but you're just going into it to say like hey i don't want to repost this card again so i know he'll sell within the 24 hours so let's just post him if he sells before that cool don't get too caught up in how you post a card if you decide you want to post a card for an hour post it for an hour it doesn't matter it's not going to sell faster it's not going to sell slower i just like to put my cards up for an hour because sometimes people buy cards from time remaining and if you look at time remaining, some people might come in and be like, hey, I'm just going to buy this card right here, which is 4,800 coins. And then if we go back to the 4,800 coins, that's not even the cheapest card. So sometimes you do get your cards to sell within that hour. If you put it up and then somebody hops on the time remaining, it's a little complicated, but 
all it is is basically people seeing like the last minute cards and they do capitalize on that because they think that they're never going to see that card again for that price so it does work sometimes but either way it goes if you're putting your cards up for a right price they will sell if you guys are interested in hearing or seeing more videos like this don't forget to comment down below and let me know what are you guys having trouble with put it down in the comment section this channel is for you guys for me to help you guys become better madden players create more wealth inside of your madden account and just become a smarter mutt player when it comes to making coins and having the best of the best teams without spending a lot of money on the game if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm gonna see you in the next one i'm out peace